Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the image cursor widget found at museforyoushop.com. So I have an example site here, and when I hover over each of these image images, uh, the cursor changes. So as we can see, I hover and the image changes. And these web graphics are also from museforyoushop.com. So in this, uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this widget and where to access it. So let's begin. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then you can click on the pop-up here. And then here you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Uh, you can click here to subscribe or you can subscribe with PayPal by clicking here or you can purchase the widget individually. So I'll scroll down to the image cursor widget, which is right down here. And it says, turn your cursor into an image uh, right here. And then here you can click add to cart to purchase the, wind the widget individually. And then again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Very good, so I'll open up my Adobe Muse website. I have a blank site here and I'll simply add three images to this website. So I'll create a square, I'll hold down shift to create a square, and then I'll just drag out. I want the square to be 200 by 200 pixels. Uh, right now it's 210 by 210, so I can manually change it by going up here and saying 200 by 200, okay? And then I'm gonna fill the square with an image, so I'm gonna go to fill, and then I'll click add image, and then I have a few images here from unsplash.com and then I'll scale to fill, and then I'll position it in the center. Okay, and then I'll just copy and paste this. I'll put this one in the center, and I'll paste this one again, and I'll put it kind of over here. Yeah, and this one I'll move over as well. Okay, so I have three images there. And now what I wanna do is make them a circle, so I'll select all of them. And over here in the corner radius option, you just click on all the corners, and then here I can set the corner radius to 100 so that it makes all the corner radiuses, or is it radiuses? But yeah, it makes all the corners um, completely rounded and we get a, a circle for uh, the image. So I'll just replace these in here uh, by clicking on the square and then I'll go to my second image and then I'll go to fill and I'll go to my third image. So here we have our images. Now I want to add the image cursor widget. So once you download the widget, it comes in a zip file. So you simply unzip the zip file and then uh, there's a .mulib file in that zip file. Uh, so you simply double click on the .mulib file and it will install directly into your Adobe Muse website. Um, and once you install it, it'll go into your library panel. And here I have, I have my library panel. If you don't see your library panel, you can just go to window and click on library. Uh, to bring the library panel up and I'll do it again because I had it open and it'll bring up the library panel. So I'll just scroll down to the image cursor widget and I have it here. Scroll down a little bit more. So initially it comes in a folder and you just click the, the drop down here and then you have access to the widget. So I'll just click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website and we have a few options here. We have graphic style name and we have select cursor type and we ha also have select an image for cursor. So for the graphic style name, so I'm gonna close this here. Um, the graphic style name, initially it says cursor one. So what we wanna do is click on the element uh, that we want to apply this cursor effect to. So let's say I wanna change the cursor for this first image. I just click on this image. Then I go to my graphic styles. So I'll click on graphic styles over here to the right. And then I'll create a new graphic style by clicking on this icon that kinda looks like a piece of paper. So I'll click it there, and then here we have a new style. So I'll double click, and now I wanna name this graphic style the same name that we have in the widget. So the name in the widget was cursor one. So I'll name this graphic style cursor one. So now this graphic style is applied to this image, which is in this widget. So you could have any name in the graphic style name. Uh, you just have to be, you just have to make sure that the element that you assign the graphic style name to also has the same graphic style name. So here it's cursor one, and we applied the graphic style name cursor one to this image. So any properties we change in this widget will be applied uh, to this element here. 
Okay, so here for select cursor type, we could select from over 20 different cursors. So let's say, you know, I, I pick W dash resize, and then I go to file, preview page and browser. Now we have a different cursor for uh, this image. Okay, and here it's just normal because we haven't applied any cursors to, to these images here. Okay, so now we want to add an image for the cursor. So yeah, let's say we wanted to add an image. Here where it says select an image for cursor, we click on add file. And then I have a few images here from uh, muse for You shop, uh, some web graphics. And you want to be sure, or you want to make sure that the image is 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less. If the image is larger than that, um, it won't work. So it needs to be 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less. So I'll select this first image here, and then I'll go to File, Preview, Page, and Browser. Now when I hover over it, we have that image for the cursor. And I'll do the same here. So actually, I'll just copy and paste this widget, just like that. And actually, let me line it up over here to the left so uh, we have some space on the website. And then I'll change this to cursor two, and I'll say cursor three here. And then again, so we name this one cursor two, so I'll go to the second image, I'll go to my graphic styles here, then I'll click on this icon that looks like a piece of paper, I'll double click and I'll say cursor two. Then for the third image, I'll create a new graphic style, and I'll say cursor three. Okay, so we have cursor two and cursor three. Yeah, so now I'll go to cursor two and I'll change the image. So I'll go to the image here and I'll say uh, this image here uh, that I have, it says uh, muse for you cursor two. And then I'll change the image here for this one as well. Okay. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser, it has this image for the first image. The second image has this uh, kind of icon there and the third image has this one. So it's uh, as simple as that, simply assigning the graphic style names to the elements that you want to add the image cursor to. And then you can have any cursor you'd like across multiple elements on your Adobe Muse website. Or if you just wanted, wanted it on a single element, you could do that as well. So we could also assign an image cursor to the entire website. So I'll just copy this widget here. And then for the graphic style, I'll just type in HTML and this will cover the entire website. Uh, so I'll just change the image here. We'll select this one. Now let me just line it up here. Very good. So now I'll go to File, Preview, Page, and Browser. And the entire website has an image for the cursor. And I selected the cover art for the image cursor. And then when we hover over the individual images here, it turns to those images that we selected. OK. Very good. So that's it for the image cursor widget. Uh, simply assigning the graphic style name to the elements that you would like the image cursor to be on and then selecting the image. And you can choose from the, the preset uh, cursors that are there. There's over uh, 20, 20 cursors there. Or you can select an image for your cursor. And the image just has to be 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less. So again, to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and you can click on the pop-up here. And here you can subscribe and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, you can click here to subscribe or you can subscribe with PayPal or you can purchase the widget individually. Uh, so I'll scroll down and here we have the image cursor widget. So you can click on it and to purchase individually, you can click on add to cart or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.